In this video, I will be showing how to do the red lip look that Taylor wore on the cover of Allure magazine. All the products will be listed in the description below. As always, start out with an eyelid primer to ensure that your eyeshadow will last. I used Bare Essentials Prime Time Eyelid Primer. Next, put a light brown color on the outer two-thirds of your lid, making sure not to get into the crease. All eyeshadow that I used in this tutorial was from my BH Cosmetics 120 color eyeshadow palette. Put a white eyeshadow on the inner one third of the eye. You can use a brush, but I chose to apply the white with my finger because the color packs on easier this way. Putting the white in the inner corner of your eye will make your eyes stand out more because they'll seem brighter. Once you have finished packing the white on, apply a gray color in the crease of your eye, making sure that you do not apply too much. It's subtle. Apply a nude color on your brown bone, then blend the whole eye so there are no visible seams. Make sure to wipe off any eyeshadow that has fallen below your eyelids. You don't want your under eye to seem darker than it really is. Now that your eye is done, apply a face primer so that your foundation will apply on easier and stay on longer. For this, I use Bare Essentials Primetime Foundation Primer. Apply a liquid concealer around your eyes and anywhere that is discolored. I have some red spots on my nose, so I applied it there. But you only need to put it wherever you find flaws. Usually I am very much against wearing liquid foundation because it has a major pore clogger and pretty much does nothing good for the face. But it does give the best coverage and Taylor has flawless skin, so apply liquid foundation all over your face, making sure to blend very well. The liquid foundation that I used was from Target but I'm not sure which brand it's under. Once you have evenly covered your whole face with the liquid foundation, apply a powder foundation or a makeup setting powder all over your face to keep the liquid from wearing off or creasing. I used both just to be especially careful. The powder will also mattify your face, which means that you won't have near as much of a shine to. The powder foundation that I used was from CoverGirl Cosmetics, and my setting powder was from my BH Cosmetics Contour and Blush Palette. In this picture, she has very pink cheeks, so apply pink blush. Be sure to slowly put small layers on. You can always add more, but it's difficult to take off. If you do apply too much blush, use a powder foundation or concealer on top to try and blend out. The blush that I used was from my BH Cosmetics Contour and Blush Palette. Next are the red lips. Be sure to take your time with this step because you want them to look flawless. I recommend using a brush because you have more control with the application. If you do go out of your lip line, gently wipe and then apply concealer where needed. If you don't have a lip brush, don't worry, you don't really need to buy one. I used one of my small eyeshadow brushes that I wasn't using anymore and it works perfectly fine. Just make sure to wash out your brush before you use it again. Put some white eyeshadow on your cupid's bow for a highlight. This will bring more attention to your lips. The red that I used was from Sephora, but you can use any red that you have. Just make sure that it is a warm red. Now it is time to finish up the eyes. Using a black powder eyeshadow, line the whole of your waterline. When you are done with the bottom of your eyes, move to the top. Try to stay as close to your eyelashes as possible, and tight line the tops of your lids. When you line the top, you should not use your finger to stretch out your eye like I did, because it could give you wrinkles faster. If you have to stretch your eye, you should use a Q-tip, because it's much gentler. Prime your eyelashes so that they are much longer and fuller. This pretty much is always a necessary step when you use so little eyeliner. I use Bare Essentials Eyelash Primer. I like that brand, can you tell? Once you have primed your eyelashes, use black mascara. Normally, I would only do the top lashes, but she has her bottom ones done too. Don't ever do the bottom lashes though, they are subtle. When applying mascara, you should shake your brush back and forth while turning it so that it evenly coats all the lashes and there are no clumps. Also, tilt your head back so that you don't get any on your eye makeup. Get as close to the roots as you can. Now we are finished! If you are wearing this look out anywhere, I would suggest bringing your lip color, a clear lip gloss, and your foundation compact, the powder, not the liquid, so you can touch up throughout the night, especially in this awful heat. If you have any questions, feel free to comment or message me, and if you want me to make more videos, subscribe!